Hi, welcome to RF Cool Tools, a circuit design software that's been made available to you for free. You can start by launching it from the RF Cool Tools website. In some cases, it will automatically install, but most of the time, you'll have to click on the launch application. agree to the license agreement right so there are many things you can do with this the software you can add um, components in series or in parallel and you can make adjustments to these components through the use of a slider for example we're going to place an inductor and one of the first things you're going to have to do is enter in the x-axis that will be the simulation axis and then finally you're going to have to enter a port impedance this is a two port system right now so we're going to enter the component and it will turn green where you enter it and then automatic con automatically connects itself if you have trouble seeing the component you can move it around the connection stays intact this component can be adjusted by using the slider the slider has a range pretty much infinite um, what you do is you move the slider around and it will adjust the component value as you can see the inductance is changing if you want finer adjustments what you do is you press the, the fine uh, the coarse fine button in this case you want to make finer step size so you keep clicking this and then what it's going to do is is drop the change to something on the order of a factor of 10 from this this end to this end so it'll give you about 300 points of resolution between there which should be pretty sufficient to get the right numbers once you've placed one component this, the next time you place a component it won't ask you for the x-axis because it will already be set by the first component so now we're going to now we're going to place a, a shunt capacitor and then it will automatic automatically connect itself and at this point we can probably start looking at some waveforms now this is the resulting waveform if you were to look at the S21 of the circuit that's shown here and one of the nice things about this this software is that you can real time adjust the response of the circuit it will automatically auto scale if you decide you don't want that you can turn off the auto scale and you can watch your circuit change this real time adjust and plotting is for every single plotting window including the s parameter window and as you notice here that you can adjust and watch real time the circuit changing you can also add markers and move the markers and the markers will also move with that data point this also can be done on the magnitude and if you want phase plot the circuit could be quite large and still be updated at real time now there are a couple other features that are worth noting uh, first of all you can save the results uh, as an S parameter file just choose save S2P we'll call this simple S2P and save also you can actually save the schematic in a proprietary format we're going to call it simple dot 
SCH. And a couple of the other features that we have are uh, transmission lines, ideal transmission lines where you can enter the height and width of the dielectric. And you can actually real-time adjust the transmission line. I'm going to close the, the phase plot here and show the Smith, Smith chart, which actually gets kind of interesting when you add quite a few turns or length, uh, increase the length of the transmission line. You can also add a shunt transmission line and this is a, a shunt transmission line with an impedance at the other end of that shunt transmission line which in this case defaults to an open again you can adjust If you don't like the units that are being displayed, uh, by default, it's picofarads, nanohenries, and ohms. If you are interested in working in milliohms, or if you're interested in working in whatever unit is pretty common, you can change the units by changing it in the unit section under the Edit tab. Also, you can change the port impedance. Right now, it's just limited to real impedances. Source and load are identical at this point. So if we were to change it to, for example, 100 ohms, and thus we have a transmission line, you get the phenomenon of ripple. And finally, we also can add S parameters. In this case, we're going to add one that's in series with the, the circuit. This is an S parameter file that was downloaded from Coilcraft, and it's a low, it's a, excuse me, a high pass filter. And because we've already specified the X axis, it's asking if we want to use linear or polynomial internal interpolation. Linear will be closest to what was originally in the S parameter file and polynomial will fit it to the closest polynomial. If you want to update the plot to show the scale This can be done by pressing the update or the zoom out button. These other buttons are for graphical optimization, which will be discussed later. And if you decide you want to remove some markers, you can either remove one marker or if you have several markers, you can remove them all.